hello youtube and welcome to this video in this video we're gonna learn how we can create load and save settings in uh, visual studio so let's begin so i will create a new project of windows form type but you can choose whatever type you want so we'll name it settings project And the project is created so I'm gonna take some text boxes so we can save and return the settings and some labels So I'm gonna name them well. So first is name and this text is name too. Second one is password and the third one is that says salary. So now I'm gonna also name the text boxes name D box and here is here it is the password T box and the salary T box. So now we have named all of them. Now I'm gonna say uh, try to save the settings. So for that I need a button too. We need two buttons. One for the save and one for the load. So first is save button. And other is load button. save settings and load settings and now I'm gonna change all of these fonts I'm gonna make it a little bigger like 12 make the button bigger too so here are our buttons and here our rest of the text boxes and labels so now what we have to do is we have to save the settings inside the save button click event here we're gonna save the settings In the Visual Studio properties, you have a default setting called settings, but you can create a new setting here. Uh, new item and search for settings. So here is setting file. So it is named as setting one. So now I'm gonna create a setting called name, password, and uh, salary. I added a S because they are setting variables or setting properties. Uh, the other thing is the scope you need to uh, you need all these settings set as user scope uh, if you set it to application scope the form one will not be accessing it so it won't be able to access it so you need the user scope 
so it is okay now you can uh, give a default value here I'm not giving any default value but you can give anything like untitled here so it will serve as the default value and you can change the set you can change the variables from here uh, or oh, the data types from here so now comes to the saving the settings so to save, save the settings we have to access these three properties of the setting so to access them you need to go to the form 1 and in the save button click event we can write uh, setting 1 dot default dot here is our properties the name so equals to the this text box whatever is written in this text box we are giving it to the name property so the name t box dot text so whatever is written in the name t box gonna go in inside the name property and the other properties as well so i'm gonna copy this and paste paste it here and the second one is password and password tbox dot text and the third one is salary so the salary setting and the salary tbox dot text so now our uh, our properties are set to these text boxes what we have to do is we have to save the setting as well to save the setting just do this this method will save the settings for you so this is the method of saving the settings so to load the settings simple is that inside the load event if you want to create the load event go to here first create uh, first click the form and then go to the properties here is the load event so you can double click it and the load event would be created so here in the load event we're gonna load the settings so to load the settings I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna I'm just gonna reverse it So after reversing it the setting will go inside the salary box as whenever the application will get launched so whenever the load events event hits it would just fill all the text boxes from the settings we saved earlier or the last time so it would load the setting so let's try this application I'm gonna run it and let's check this out and it has already printed untitled why because I have given the default title as untitled and it has loaded it inside the name t box so I'm gonna give it a name and a password one two three four five and sadly as whatever so now I'm gonna press the save setting and we haven't used the load setting button yet so I have saved the setting 
it should be here when I load it again. So the settings are loaded. So the load is working just fine. So to make the load button work, I'm gonna copy this out and paste it inside the load e load button click event or I, I can just create a new event void load and paste this, this uh, line of code here and just call the load event in both of these sections both, both of these events now by loading it I see this and now I change it and I'm not saving it I'm loading the last record so it loads the last record so this is it thanks for watching if you like the video press the like button and do subscribe to the channel and see you next time